Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen with a summary of the Calling All Devs dated the 26th of March, as well as some hardware news that's relevant to Star Citizen 2. Weather in space. There will be weather in space or weathery type effects. They've talked about asteroid, meteor showers, clouds, and obviously lots of plant-based weather. They are going to look at solar flares and other m interesting things maybe later as well. Tech from the coil as well as new tech in general will be integrated into the persistent universe for cool environmental effects and cool cloud tech and lots of other kind of prettification of space. There's going to be various environmental hazards and effects in game, both in space and on the ground, as well as various damage types too. Low light and night vision. Darker and low light areas will be more accessible in the future. They're talking a little bit about having flashlights more bright and potentially more glow um, when you're in a very dark area, so you can sort of make out some shapes at least. They are working on weapon attachments at the moment, so they are looking at infrared, night vision, heat vision, and various other vision types as well that you'll be able to literally put on to scopes and other items on your weapons to give you some different options when it comes to what sort of vision types that you can have. So they're going to kind of explore those options and implement what they believe is appropriate in the future. They're kind of experimenting with all those different views at the moment. But there's also the potential for helmets and visors to have different vision types too, not just on weapon attachments. The R97 shotgun and custodian SMG are going to come to Star Marine in Alpha 3.1. FPS gadgets are still being planned and formed. Don't expect anything in the immediate future though, but they are still looking at these. EMPs. They are aware that EMPs are overpowered uh, and that have issues at the moment. This is partly due to current item sets being set to really low distortion protection. So they are addressing it and they're going to continue to address it in the future. It's very much in flux for 3.1 though. EMPs, the attention there is to not have them super overpowered in the future. They are going to be balanced. Shorter term though, they will be experimenting with numbers. Obviously, the kind of balance that they do now is very short term balance because there's going to be lots more items and ships and um, it, lots more mechanics to come in the future that's going to change the entire way they do their balance. So shorter term, they will be messing around with the balance and seeing what they can do. The Polaris. So the Polaris Corvette has not progressed from the completion of its concept phase yet. However, it is the next priority after the 600i has been moved over to other teams. Now, they plan to start on that Polaris in earnest in sort of April, May time, and we should start to hear more and more about it from then onwards. Eva Carti, they are doubling the Eva Carti size in the next few weeks. So these are the ETF, they're the very early testers that get the very first builds of a new patch before it goes live. There was around 800, 900 Eva Carti, so they look like they're expanding it to between 1600 to 2000 sort of area now. They're more a player participates with the game and the issue council, the more likely you are to get chosen for the Eva Carti. Of the new additions, 600 of them are the top contributors on the issue council, but they're also taking the top players from Star Marine, Arena Commander, Racing, and the Persistent Universe. I suspect that some of them, um, rather than just being the top on the scoreboards or anything, are also just hours played. Um, so there's probably a mixture of those too. Some other news, a couple of hardware-y things. AMD Ryzen CPUs are starting to drop dramatically in price. So it's worth checking your favorite outlets to see if they are cheap there as well, um, if you've been holding off on buying one anyway. This is probably in anticipation for the new Zen Plus processors coming soon. Also, the latest NVIDIA 391.01 drivers have given me some good little boosts in Star Citizen and PUBG. I'll link them down below uh, with the latest AMD drivers as well, because some new ones came out the other day. I don't have an AMD card to test those particular drivers, but from the reviews and stuff that I've seen on Reddit, they seem to be pretty good. Um, I'll link all that down below. Every month, we have a giveaway for a ship for February. It's an 890 jump donated by our featured org, Sync Synchronizers. They're an org that plan to encompass all of the gameplay that Star Citizens has to offer. That said, they do oppose piracy, but they seek members to add to their mature family of both casual and more hardcore players alike, although there's no real restrictions on membership. Links below if you're interested in checking them out. They are active in Star Citizen now and have an active 
active Discord, which you can participate in. All you need to do to be in for a chance of winning that 890 jump, though, is be subscribed to my YouTube channel and then comment on any of my Star Citizen content throughout the month. Do you have any questions about Star Citizen or Squadron 42's development or anything we discussed there, or gameplay mechanics, whatever, chuck them in the comments below. A special thank you to my Patreons who allow me to create the amount of content I do. If you're interested in becoming one of those lovely folks, then you can find links to Patreon as well as everything else we discussed down below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really does help me and I'll see you in the verse.